What is going on, people of Earth? It is me, Mikey, reporting from Immortals Inc. Studios, and I have my BFF slash MetaZoo partner in crime. This is Josh Miller. This is. Because I think it is Josh Miller, right? It is. It's my real name. So, um... It really is. This is, uh, MetaZoo Mondays, episode six. Beow, 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 beow. Beow, 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 beow. Yes, sir. Last, uh, episode, if you guys watched, you should watch. If you didn't watch it, I'm offended. Are you offended? I'm offended if you didn't watch it because there was a lot of heart put into that and it was at Mothman Fest. So if you didn't watch it, watch it now. Please pause this, come back to it because we got the view already anyway. I was car sick for three and a half hours. So if you could, that'd be awesome. But yeah, we are here today to not only discuss our past ventures, but dive into what is Hero Quest? Because Hero Quest needs love, like all of us do. Hero Quest does need love, and it's starting to dry up. It's kind of limited, I'd say. I don't know how many. I think they did fifty thousand, maybe, which is a lot. Maybe less than that. Is it like drying maybe up, sure. af- like how your phone does, like the day after your birthday? Like you know, I don't know. Sometimes the day after you get belated, but like two days after your birthday, is it drying up like that? I don't even get belated. Uh, probably drying up That's like sad. my birthday. Okay, that's sad. <laughs> I, I got you with the happy birthday uh, text for one. For two, yeah. So Hero Quest obviously is from Steve Aoki. Shout out Mr. Steve Aoki. He is an EDM slash DJ artist, whatever you want to call him. He's a mastermind creative that um, MetaZoo obviously Fs with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time. What's your favorite Hero Quest card? That's a good question. My favorite Hero Quest card is yeah. literally that uh, Grimmy. It's it's gotta be between the Grimmy and the uh, Wendigo that you just showed me. Grimmy or Wendigo? Explain what Hero Quest is in layman's terms. In layman's terms, it's a collaboration between Steve Aoki and his new album and MetaZoo. So what happens is is you buy this CD. When you buy this CD, you open it and there is a little flap here. Inside of that little flap, inside the CD, there is a card that is in plastic. You don't know what it is. It's one card. I went ham as hell. Ham. He went like ham at Giant Eagle like when they shave it off. I went ham and eggs and got a bunch of them. These are just the ones that aren't repeats, and I'm trying to, I mean, getting the set's impossible. But these are the one that um, my real name's not Mikey likes the most. <laughs> these are his favorite. Those are the hitters, I'm not going to lie. So right? way better than my Sick. artifact that I showed you guys last week. When I showed you the uh, Hero Quest artifact I had, that was cool to me. Then he pulls up with all these, and I'm like, it's, it's always humbling with you, really. It's like, it always is. Reserve list. Not even just uh, exclusive to the set. By the way, I've invited, my name's not really Mikey to my place, like multiple times and he just <sighs> won't show up. Bro, we could we could do a whole episode dedicated to that. So let's, um, let's move on to better things. Yeah. So let's see like as a whole, now that we're done with the CN2 booster box what are your two biggest hits from that box that doesn't even matter because i want to talk about what you gave me today let's talk about that real quick because josh always blesses me he's a humble guy himself sometimes but this is what he did today he pulled up on me and he said do you have any nightfall stuff we were on the phone yesterday he's like you got nightfall stuff i'm like no and i'm like you do now and he's like you do now pin club exclusive pin club's cool right you need to get some of them hollers wait a minute you do have hollow pin clubs I gave you a hollow, uh, what pin, did I give yeah, you? Yeah, Pin Holly, uh, it was like the music one. T Kettler. T Kettler. Yeah, yep. that's a good one. Pull up those two hits, your biggest hits from that CN2. I just, I just want to talk about those for a second. That one too. Yo. These babies right here. My favorite, man, it's tough. My favorite character from CN1 slash CN2 is probably Flatwoods Monster. It was my first favorite. Yo, what did you just tell me? What are you, what are you about to go do tomorrow? Uh, go to Flatwoods. West Virginia, and check out the Flatwoods Monster. I, I don't Are you just going on, for the day? Yeah, just drive down, drive back. It's not that far. How far? It's like the same distance as from here to Point Pleasant when we were at the Mothman Festival. <sighs> that was rough. Rough. By the way, promos are coming soon, so... Yes, they did we'll just announce. Next. They announced that the promos are shipping out next week for Mothman Fest, so if you were there, get it. It's coming. Don't worry about it. Hopefully we could show those next episode. That'd be pretty cool. So breaking news also. Uh, breaking news. Poncho just announced on Instagram, literally as we were sitting here, he did a little sneak peek, little preview of one of the cards that he did for the art on Seance, which is coming out on October 21st. 
Ooh, first, same time. Which, by the way, if you're not following Poncho, it's Rockefeller Fonz with a Z at the end, all one word. It is called Permanent Possession, and it is Seance. Look at that. That's sick. It kind of looks like Evil Dead. It reminds me of the cover of the original Evil Dead. Do you think it's going to be one of those chase cards automatically since he said he favored it? No. I think it's just a spell. Do you know what the chase cards are going to be at all or no? No, they haven't said anything about that, but I could imagine it's going to be something sweet. Show them the hodag you got from Mothman Fest. I like that. I don't know if you guys saw this in the background of any past uh, stream I've done so far over there, but now that I'm over here for MetaZoo Meta Mondays, this is the hodag. Right and yo, here. you got the shirt on? Give these guys some love. I wish I remembered their name. Hodagstore.com. Thehodagstore.com. Is that really what it is? Um, yeah, they also on Instagram, Hodagstore. Um, they followed me, so shout out you guys. Is that That's a size awesome. medium, that shirt? This is a large. I'll wear it. Yeah. I'll take that from you. We, we wanted to dive into med, uh, UFO uh, this week. Yeah. But, but I feel it. I feel like you're going to pull some fire, and you're not taking my word for it, and I'm usually right. Should I go get a pack across the hall? Kind of, yeah. You think so? Yeah. I'm telling you, I think you're going to pull some fire out of I'll that I'll be right pack. back. Talk to the people. I will. People of Earth, this is my name's not really Mikey. Let's talk about... MetaZoo. It is MetaZoo Monday. Also, he didn't mention this either. There is a hodag root, root, root. Who knows? I say it root beer because I'm from Ohio, but there's the hodag root beer. I mean, this was also not just Mothman Fest. There was like hodag root beer, the hodag tent. There was a little bit of uh, just a cryptid tent as well. What we're going to do is we're going to rip a UFO pack because I'm feeling like there's going to be some some heat, some heat behind that. So Mikey's gonna, my name's not really Mikey, is gonna drop a little bit more knowledge when he rips open his pack, watch this. There you go, you got the fart set, let's go. The fart set? One of these is yours, so you gotta pick one. Really? Yeah. Middle. Middle, take it. Middle Earth, we're in Middle Earth. Look at these little guys next to me. We can't see them on the camera, but they're- You can see them a little bit. What do you call this? What is this guy? I call him a- uh, Does he have a name? Did you name him? I call him a gobstopper. Gobstopper? A hobgoblin? You should probably name these guys because there's one next to you too. He doesn't get a name. Area 51 artist fire. I feel that we have fire coming. We got a frozen rain orb artifact. Full? Fully. Tight. See, look at how great the hollows look on those. We got two of them back to back. Ooh. What are the odds? I love that sound. If you're a collector, that sounds better than CX. Let's go. Bone it. Let's go. I just love the way that card looks. What is it? Look at that, dude. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. It's Unwanted like guests. Yeah, it's awesome. I felt like that my whole life. Hey, told you we were going to pull some fire. By the way, this card is dope. Ooh. Right? Guys, we, we pulled a Lechuza. Look at that. We hit a Lechuza. You hit a Lechuza. You have a Lechuza. This is now. yours. No, that's yours. Lechuza full hollow. Yeah, dude. Bazang. That's the one that you want. Well, he doesn't let me keep anything because he has everything, which is not fair. So you want me to get my setup? Here it is. I'm going to pull this Ooh, right now. I did now. hit a ghost train, too. Dude, that ghost quest. train that ghost train is actually my favorite art. Is so it? Should, yeah. That's You've insane. You've seen the one from uh, CN1 and CN2, right? Wolf among sheep. That's how I feel. Energy being. It's pretty crazy. Green fireballs. Full holly foo fighters. Yo, another one. That's that's a that's a good one right there. We'll take a full Holly Foo Fighters all day. We hit two. I told you. I'll take that all day. And I got an iridescent orb. So these are good cards that you pulled. These are not just like, you know, womp womp orbs. You pulled one orb, but that's okay. And not I, to say orbs are bad, everybody. I'm not trying to say that. Um, If you're saying anything on the reserve list is bad, then you got to go. The orbs aren't on the reserve list, but. Wait, they aren't? What are no. they? Are they uh, spells? They're still around. Guys, if we get enough followers on this page, I'm going to let our viewers choose my first legit MetaZoo tattoo. I know I have a Mothman, but I want the viewers and fans to choose my actual And I did want to do first. a special announcement for this episode okay. because uh, I figured it was time. Immortals Inc. got approved on whatnot to be a seller, and uh, it's about to be time. Thanks to Mr. Josh Miller here for the inspiration slash help. We were able to get accompanied on whatnot as a seller. So we are moving on to whatnot um, along with him here. If you're not supporting him on whatnot, this is Josh Miller with the at symbol to the left because we don't do it to the right. We never pull right. So yeah, it's been a pleasure today. I, I think, what do we want to talk about next time? That's a good question. 
what should we talk about next time? What should we do next time? Should it be different? Should we not be sitting here? Should we be doing something else? We should be doing push-ups, like incline push-ups. Yeah. While cracking packs. So we shouldn't tell them what we want to do. No, but it's going to be special, I think. If I can do what I want to do, if you'll go halves on something with me, we can do something really special. Yeah, we'll do something special. Always. We'll do it for the culture. Like That's you said, cool what did you say the show's for? The culture. This show is for the culture. It's for the people. Because we love you. This is Josh Miller. His name's not really Mikey. Thanks for joining us for MetaZoo Mondays. Yep. Okay, special. Josh Miller. And thank you guys for 400 subs. We appreciate it. If you want a sub, it's right there. And um, we couldn't have done it without y'all. So, boing. Boing.